Okay, Facebook. This is the first time I've done a live on my own page in quite some time. So deal with the work in progress here. So Dr. Jordan, my sister, has been doing a lot of lives on her personal page as we're trying to promote some of our functional medicine services at our office and some of the new products that we're offering. So tonight I want to talk about protein powders. Um, Jordan has talked a lot about magnesium and probiotics, but especially this evening with some patients. Hi, everybody. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions about protein powders and how do you find a protein powder? Um, what are you looking for in a protein powder? Do I do vegan protein? Do I do whey protein? When's the best time to eat my protein? So I'm going to answer some of those questions tonight. This is a bit on the cuff, so I did not really prep. I am just going from what I know, and um, hopefully if you have some questions, ask those. I have quite the setup going on here so that hopefully I can see your questions um, and answer them as we go. So the first thing I want to talk about, and I'm seeing if I can open this to actually see your questions. Um, the first thing is the biggest difference between whey protein and most vegan protein powders, and vegan meaning a plant-based protein, is that whey protein contains all nine amino acids. So that makes that whey protein powder or a whey-based product a complete protein because it has all um, amino acids. Most plants do not contain all amino acids. So um, I don't know a percentage, but a significant amount of protein powder out there that is vegan or plant-based tends to be just a pea protein or just a rice protein or just a hemp protein. Um, when they are separated like that, you'll find that they don't contain all of the essential amino acids, so it's not a complete protein. If you can find a plant-based protein, um, and of course the one that we sell is a complete protein because we did a lot of research to find one of the best out there, but ours is a combination of both pea um, and brown white rice protein. So it makes it a comparable product, um, whey versus vegan, because it's a com complete product. Hi, husband. My husband's on. Say hi, everybody. He's been gone for eight weeks. Hi, husband. Um, I'll share a couple good recipes at the end. I was hoping to do this with my Vitamix out, but the kitchen is a disaster, and I will not be sharing that on Facebook Live, but I will share some recipes. So um, back to kind of vegan versus whey. That's the biggest difference. If you're looking for a vegan powder, make sure that the vegan powder is complete and has both a mixture of brown rice, pea protein, hemp proteins. Um, the more proteins in one of plant-based, the better to get you all those great amino acids. So the next question I get asked a lot is, when is the best time to have my protein? Why should I supplement with a protein shake? Um, the number one time is actually 30 minutes after you work out. That's top. You will absorb the amino acids faster than any other time um, during your day. So if you have a workout, most of us know that if you're doing a pretty significant workout, hi Paula, I see you on there and you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you're over at, shout out to Premier Performance and Fitness in Vernon Hills, but if you're out doing um, a pretty extensive workout, you'll find that eating a meal after you work out is not usually the easiest. You're either not hungry, um, you need to let your body cool down a little bit before you can eat. Some people actually feel a little nauseous if they try to eat after a workout. Um, and then there's those other people who can eat a jumbo meal after they work out. But for most of us, we can't. So a protein shake right after your workout is going to be best. You're going to absorb all those amino acids and digest that protein, get that protein in your system a little bit faster and then um, get the best benefits from it, which is great for recovery after a workout repair, helps you burn the fat that you just tried to burn, um, and also burn more or gain more lean muscle with a great protein powder. So well, that's the best time, and those are kind of the differences between the two, so we've hit a few different um, questions. 
Another thing to point out, um, if you're picking between whey and vegan protein, whey protein, hi everybody, more new people, ask your protein questions here. Um, if you have a sensitivity to whey, so whey, some people with lactose issues do not have issues with whey, they are separate. So the protein that's found in milk are whey and casein. Whey is the top part, during the manufacturing process, there's the top part of milk and it is translucent and it's a liquid part and that can get taken off and used in protein powders. So whey is that part and some people have sensitivities to whey and some people don't. I actually had a sensitivity test done a while back um, and found that I was sensitive to whey so I've stuck to plant-based proteins for maybe five or six years now but there are great benefits to whey protein if you do not have a sensitivity to them so now it's now it's back curds and whey oh, I'm sorry Paul I hope it didn't freeze for everybody but if it did I can repeat anything that uh, you guys might have missed um, but if you have sensitivities to whey, I'd focus on a vegan powder. If you don't, there are some really, really great whey um, benefits to whey protein powder. So there's protein powders and there's protein isolate. And that's another question we get a lot. Protein isolate is when the fat's been removed from the supplement and so it's lower in some of these other compounds. Um, isolate has, has been known, a lot of people talk about it as being um, one of the purest protein sources available and it's supposed to have protein of like 90% or higher so it's very pure form of the protein um, but a lot of them are actually denatured in the manufacturing process so you want to make sure that although you, your product says whey isolate that you know where it's come from and how it was manufactured. Um, you wanna make sure that it doesn't lose its peptide bonds. A lot of manufacturers heat their protein, so knowing where the product is actually coming from, um, that's one of the downfalls if you are buying just from a place online or Juul. Um, I don't ever like to call out any specific stores. I shop at Juul, Juul, I love you. Um, but some of those protein powders, we don't know who the manufacturers are, and so we can't determine if it was um, denatured at all. And that's a big factor when shopping for any supplement, but especially your protein powders that know the manufacturers. Um, we know our manufacturers where we find our products and that's one of the big reasons that we went with these companies is we know how it's produced to know that what the label says is what it is. So if it's a certain percentage protein, we can guarantee that that's how much protein is in it and it's that usable protein. Um, so that's kind of the difference with an isolate and a regular. Another thing to look for is, is your whey protein. Obviously whey is coming from cows, right? So is your whey grass-fed? Is it organic? Um, what have the cows gone through prior to producing that whey protein powder? And one, our manufacturers, this is the coolest thing, I share this little fact with everybody, and some people don't care. Some of you will sign off because you don't care about this at all. But the cows that are actually um, used, the milk from the cows that are used in our whey protein shake are actually, not only are they grass fed, but they're grass fed and they're from New Zealand. And the reason that's important as most of us who are in an industry that, or I guess I'll say a wellness industry, where we are concerned about where our food comes from, what is put into our food, what our labels say, is that the we use a lot of chemicals. So even though things are grass fed, that doesn't necessarily mean it's any better for you because of all the chemicals that we use and those cows are eating it and then that gets into our whey protein shakes. So the cows that are utilized for the products that we use are from New Zealand because New Zealand has much tighter regulations and they do not use the types of things that we do as far as herbicides and pesticides and sprays. So these grass-fed cows, it is a very chemical-free um, grass-fed cow whey protein, which I think is amazing. So that's something to look for. Um, let's see, what else did I want to hit? La, da, da. I see a lot of you watching. Where are all of your questions? So let's talk a little 
I made myself some notes just to make sure I didn't forget something. So some benefits of whey protein, um, increases strength and build muscle. So whether you're currently working out or you're trying to get into a new workout routine, um, this will help build muscle. Whey protein does that. There's a lot of research out there um, from especially the Journal of Food Science is a big one that whey protein actually stimulates muscle synthesis to a greater degree um, than casein and soy protein products. So if you're currently using a soy protein product as a post-workout um, to help you increase strength, I would recommend switching to a whey. Um, soy isn't really great for you anyway, especially if you have thyroid issues, so I'd recommend moving away from that anyway. Who sugar? Oh, we'll touch on sugar content momentarily. Thanks, Denise, for the question. We'll get there. Um, what else? Burns fat. So whey pro protein is great for burning fat. Again, these are all some of these studies. Um, they did studies to supplement uh, caloric intake, people who reduced by 500 calories a day, and compared the con control group um, one supplemented with a whey protein and one one group didn't. And the group that supplemented with the whey protein actually dropped more body fat and showed more lean muscle that they maintained as opposed to the group that didn't. So if you're looking to lose weight, you might want to drop some of those things down. Oh, Paula, that's a talk for another time. Um, soy Soy actually has a lot of effects on the thyroid, so I'll just leave it at that for now and maybe tune in and we'll have Dr. Jordan do another talk on soy and the thyroid. But um, if you do anything soy related, um, most of our soy, I'd say 100% of our soy is probably genetically modified, especially in the United States. We have to get those fields um, producing the soy somehow, so a lot of it is GMO soy which is also not good. So there's that. Oh, Jordan joined. I was trying to do this secretly, everybody, since Jordan's been doing all these Facebook Lives, and so I need to ramp my game up. Okay, so what else about whey? Um, reduces cravings, so that's another one. Jordan, you can type in there, why is soy bad for the thyroid? Because I said that's for another talk. So while I'm working on some of these others. Um, whey stabilizes blood sugar levels, so that's great. Um, it actually keeps your blood sugar pretty stable so you don't go through those big spikes and drops. Um, and actually, I'll cut on the vegan powder in a minute, but our vegan powder, the studies on it are fantastic, and it actually helps lower um, blood or stabilize blood sugar. And if somebody is diabetic, um, it helps their numbers dramatically. So we've had some really great tests with that. Now everybody's asking questions at the same time. Give me a second. Of course, my screen with your questions. Oh, thanks husband, Jade BFF 20 for your 20% for your discount. Okay, what else? Improves energy, um, 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 um. Burns fat, blues glutathione, that's a big one. Um, if you do not have a whey sensitivity, one of the big benefits to whey protein is boosting glutathione. Glutathione is a very, very, very important antioxidant, and it's in nearly every cell of our body, but <clears throat> because that it is boosted, I apologize for my delay, I'm trying to move my screens around here. Um, Glutathione actually gets rid of free radicals in the body. So free radicals, if we go back a little bit, free radicals can cause cell damage, cancer, and other diseases like um, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. But glutathione also protects against environmental toxins. So if we can boost up the glutathione, we can block some of these free radicals. That's another huge benefit to whey protein. Um, vegan protein doesn't do that, but whey protein does. So if you're able to utilize a whey protein, that's a huge benefit to it. Um, whey protein also, because it helps with glutathione, also boosts immune system. So it boosts your immunity because glutathione, this is how you see now everything works together, but glutathione helps all of these other antioxidants like CoQ10 and vitamin E and ALA work better. So if we have glutathione, all of these others are working better, thus improving our immunity. 
Um, it's good for your heart health, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you can, like we said, mix it with just about anything. We'll talk recipes in, after I review a little bit about the vegan powder because you can do the same recipes with vegan powder that you can do with whey powder. Either works um, just as well. It's just going to depend on your um, preference. Yes, detoxification. So glutathione is great for detox, which we talked momentarily. Okay, so let's switch gears for a second. I need some water. My Salutogenic Life water bottle. Okay, so vegan powder. Love, love, love. Did I say I love? Our vegan powder. So any, I don't want to say any vegan powder. This is probably one of our favorite, my favorites. Life Food Complete Vegan Protein Powder. Um, the reason we named this Life Food Complete as opposed to the whey, which is just Life Food Whey, is because the whey powder, powder is strictly um, like a protein powder. It's not an isolate, but it's, it is what is typically known as a protein powder. Our... Vegan, on the other hand, is more of a meal replacement. The whey powder, you want to make sure that you're adding certain items to it in order for it to be like a full meal and not just a protein shake. If it's post-workout, like that 30-minute span that we talked about, um, you could do that straight with water, your milk substitute, like an almond milk or a coconut milk, um, and that's great to absorb those amino acids post-workout. But if you're looking for more of a meal, I would add... Um, fruit, some good filled antioxidant fruit like blueberries or raspberries. Um, you could put oats, gluten-free oats. You could put some peanut butter for some fat. You could put some avocado for some fat. And that would make it more of a full meal replacement shake as opposed to just a protein shake. And those terms kind of get used interchangeably, but they are definitely um, different. And it's important to know the difference just to make sure if you do a protein shake and you are expecting to stay full, you might not be full as long as if you did a full meal replacement shake. Um, a protein shake, you might be hungry in, a, in an hour or two um, as opposed to a full meal replacement. Okay, so back to vegan, the one I love the most. So why we named it Vegan um, Life Food Complete is because this product is filled, 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 filled with all sorts of yummies. So if you can check out, and I know it's reversed, so work with me here a little bit. But you see how long that list of yummy good things that you can find in there is? And that's because the vegan powder, due to the plant proteins, you'll find almost all of your typical vitamins that you'll see in a multivitamin. Two of the biggest ones I'm going to point out is you're going to find a folate, so folate, a methylfolate, and not folic acid, that's something you want to look for in your protein powders, um, as well as other vitamins, is watching for folic acid. Um, this, again, another talk for another time, but if you have the mutation that doesn't allow you to break down folic acid, it can actually be detrimental to have in your supplements. To stay on the safe side, we recommend people take folate or methylfolate because that's the already broken down form. Most products over the counter, mostly over the counter protein powders, since that's what we're talking about specifically tonight, contain folic acid, and that can actually be detrimental for you and causing you some other issues. Um, but if you're interested in knowing if you have that mutation specifically, there are things out there like 23andMe and um, a few other genetic tests that can test for that specifically. But the other ingredients, if you kind of scroll down, we have also have B12 in here, um, but B12 is also a methylated form of B12. So it's methylcobalamin, which means, again, it's the already broken down form, which is easier for your body to absorb and take in. But there are some other great things like choline, um, chromium, zinc, magnesium, excuse me, <clears throat> and then it even breaks down, which is, I can't show over the screen, but on our website, you can see the entire ingredient label, but it also breaks down all the amino acids, which is really cool. So both of these protein powders, um, one of the other benefits to them is they have no added sugar and no stevia. 
So they are both sweetened with monk fruit, which is great to help stabilize blood sugar. You won't get spikes, and there's also no artificial um, flavoring with the stevia. Stevia, personal opinion, stevia is okay, but only if you're using the green organic, like real stevia. Um, I think you can get the real actual green stevia leaf um, from Whole Foods, possibly Trader Joe's, I'm not sure. When it's created into that white powdery stevia, that's more of a fake processed, um, all the goodness has kind of been taken out. But if you use the green stevia leaf and actually sweeten with that, that's better. But we found in our office, that especially kids, um, some kids with ADHD, especially are affected by stevia. And we have a lot of people with stevia sensitivities in the office. So we tried to limit the amount of products that had stevia in them. And that's why these both have monk fruit. And they actually, they taste, both of them taste delicious. So that's that. So back to why do we want a vegan powder or what is vegan powder good for? Um, again, you can take it the same time you take your whey protein powder 30 minutes after a workout is great. Um, that's beneficial. It's full to get a complete protein. Again, focus on multiple plant-based protein sources in your protein powder. That's number one. Um, again, I recommend not loving soy protein powder. Um, it is, it does affect estrogen levels. Um, and we did say again that it is all genetically modified. So we want to kind of limit our soy protein. But protein, um, pea protein benefits, because of, it does have a lot of branch chain amino acids. And those of you that are familiar with BCAAs um, or utilize them in your workouts, branch chain amino acids help decrease muscle breakdown. Most vegan protein powders have branch chain amino acids. So you are already going to benefit from BCAAs in your vegan protein powder. Helps with weight loss. So vegan or vegan or whey both help with weight loss. Um, vegan protein powder supports heart health, um, lowers blood pressure, inflammation. As we all know, plant-based diets are significantly beneficial for that, especially the heart health and the inflammation. A lot of our meat, or I should say all meat, um, is processed, even if it's not like a deli counter meat, all of it goes through processing unless you butcher your own, um, or maybe you know a butcher and you can kind of observe and you know how your meat is prepared. But because of that, it actually meat or plant-based diets, I apologize, are better for your heart as well as inflammation and other lifestyle illnesses like cancers, diabetes, and those types of things. Um, so anywhere I think you can incorporate more plant-based meals, the better. So that is that. Um, and again, regulating blood sugar. That's the biggest one with this vegan protein powder is that it helps regulate blood sugar. And um, this one has had a ton of studies behind it and just phenomenal. We've had a lot of patients who are diabetic, who are safe to have the life food vegan protein powder. And it actually, um, they kept their numbers more stable and even lowered and improved their numbers on their follow-up tests. So that's a little bit about the differences um, between pea protein or a mixed vegan protein powder and a whey protein powder. So I'm going to give you a minute to ask any questions as I wrap up because we're nearing like the 25 minute mark. So recipes, I'll say I have a few. I'll use almost always I use a milk substitute because that's just my preference or I do half and half and I'll do a milk substitute. Um, I like an unsweetened almond milk if you don't have any issues. Um, with nut allergies. So I use an unsweetened almond milk. I like to mix my, I prefer vanilla protein powder. My husband kind of got me hooked on vanilla because that's his favorite. And I find that it works most uh, with most fruits, vegetables, etc. So I'll do almond milk protein powder. I use our Life Greens, which is a greens powder that's filled with antioxidants. So I'll throw that in my shake. I'll throw 
our collagen powder in my shake. So collagen powder is great for joints. It's great for digestion. It's great for your hair, for your skin, for your nails. Um, that's obviously a whole nother talk. I was going to talk about collagen tonight, but I decided to do protein instead. So maybe stay tuned for another talk uh, that involves collagen powder. But collagen powder I'll throw in there. I'll put omega liquid. I put chia seeds because I have done a nutrient test and I was deficient in omegas. So anywhere I can get them, I will do that. So I throw extra omega liquid. I throw my chia, my ground chia seeds in there. And then I'll do fruit. So it's kind of whatever I have around. I prefer blueberries and then veggies. And again, it's kind of whatever I have left in the fridge. Recently, I've been using kale because I have a lot of kale in my fridge, but it might be kale, it might be spinach, maybe there's broccoli left over. And that's the nice thing is in most protein shakes, you can disguise a few different vegetables and it may look green, but it tastes delicious. If you need something a little bit sweeter, maybe you'll add in, I know Dr. Jordan posted a little bit of a recipe there, um, half a banana. If you have blood sugar, you're trying to watch your blood sugar, I'd probably recommend doing no banana and sticking to the fruits that have a little bit more antioxidants and stabilize your blood sugar like the berries. You won't have quite the spike if you do berries. It also won't be as sweet. Um, but some other good ones are your whey protein powder, a, a milk substitute, um, half an avocado that gets you some great fat and it makes it really creamy. Um, some other veggies and some blueberries, that's another delicious shake as well. So those are just kind of some basics. But I'm happy to answer any further questions about protein, protein shakes, um, the benefits to the different protein powders. Um, if those of you that are watching didn't know, Dr. Jordan and I have been working for the last couple of years on starting our own physician grade supplement company that just means we have access to products and manufacturers being doctors that um, other some people don't. And we've spent the time kind of doing the research to find the best products on the market and put them all in one line so that our patients would get changes faster. Um, as well as allowing other providers access to these products. So we're in five states and we have discounts right now for the next two weeks. You can use my code and it's JADEBFF20 and that's 20% off on our website. If you're interested in trying a protein powder or a greens or maybe you want to switch out your multi for our multi and give us a try for a month, we'd really appreciate your support. Um, and I'll link that website, it's salutogeniclife.com, but I will link that website in um, my explanation of the video or even in one of the comments. But try that for 20% off and you will love our protein powder. I promise you won't be disappointed. It tastes great, it keeps you full. Um, I can stay full till lunch if I'm with patients and don't have time for a snack. So um, definitely the vegan powder is my, my powder of choice. Um, but if you're a whey guy or gal, the whey protein is fantastic. Jordan loves the chocolate whey. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So we're at about the 30 minute mark. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my live. And I've got to go get myself some dinner before I run out of time or I'll be having my protein shake. And again, salutogeniclife.com. Use my code JADEBFF20. And if you have any questions after watching this video, just post them in here, send me a private message, and I'm happy to answer any of your supplement questions, even if it's not about protein. So thanks again for watching, and I will see all of you soon. Bye.